In this video, I'm going to show you how you can tile an image, uh, also known as cutting larger than the mat. So if you only have a 12 by 12 mat and you have a 20 by 20 image, then you need to split that image up to be able to cut each piece on your mat. So here's what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and import an image and I'm going to use this nativity scene <clears throat> and I want this to be sized at now I know my mat is 20 by 20 so I'm going to size this at 19 inches and then whatever the height ends up being it ends up being and then I want to come over here in my position and size panel and make sure that this upper left corner is selected not you know the bottom left or the center or anything it needs to be the upper left and then I'm going to change these numbers to zero just hit zero and enter okay what that does is it puts it up here exactly um, in the left hand corner and then what I need to do is make I know I'm going to need four tiles because I have a 20 by 20 image and I only have a 12 by 12 mat so um, I'm going to have to split this at uh, 12 inches, actually 11 and a half. So I need four tiles, so I need four pages. There's two, three, and four. All right. And then what I need to do is draw a rectangle, and I can draw it anywhere. <clears throat> and then I need to come over here and make sure that it is not larger than. 12 or, or 11 and a half inches so i'm going to just go 11 and a half or i'm sorry 11 um and i'll uncheck this height and also make it 11. okay so now it's an inch larger than uh my image because my image is 20 by 20. actually i don't even think i resized it did i uh, well, it's 19 by 17, so that's fine. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so now this also needs to be placed at 0 and 0 in your position and size. Just hit 0 and then click here, hit 0, and hit Enter. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and change this color. <clears throat> okay. Now, I need to select this image and I need to copy it and I need to paste it in place on each page so that it goes uh, in that upper left hand corner. And I should have done this before I uh, made the rectangle, but I didn't. So here we go. All right, so now back on page one, I'm going to select my uh, square and I'm going to come to position and size again and make sure that this is not larger than my mat. Okay. Now, of course, you could cut this on a 12 by 24 mat, just split it in half, but I don't want to do that because I only have a 12 by 12 mat, supposedly. <laughs> anyway, okay, so... Now that I have this done, I am going to duplicate this square. So I'm going to select it and hit Control D, and that brings up my duplicate. Or you can go to Edit uh, Object, sorry, Object Duplicate. All right, I'm going to make two rows and two columns, and I'm going to change the spacing horizontal and vertical both to zero, and I'm not going to check group the duplicate and click OK. All right, so now I need to select this uh, square here and right click and I'm going to cut and then I'm going to come over here to page two. I'm going to right click and paste in place and then I'm going to go back to page one and I'm going to cut and come to page two or page three, I'm sorry, and paste in place. And then I'm gonna come back to uh, 
page one, select the last rectangle, cut, and come to page four, and paste in place. All right, so now I have all of my rectangles in place to cut my image. So here is this one, here is this one. All right, this ends at 11, and this one starts at 11. So I'm good to go. Now, what I need to do is come over here. I can open my layers panel here, <clears throat> and to pop it out, just click on this little um, square with an arrow in it. <clears throat> All right, I can left click and select this, hold shift and left click and select this, or I can just drag a box around both. But sometimes it doesn't select both. So that's why you want to have your layers panel visible so you can make sure they're both checked. All right, and then once they are both selected, go to Path Intersection. Okay, so this is what you end up with then. And let's go to the second page and select both and go to Path Intersection. So there's page two, and then I will come to page three and make sure both are selected and go to Path Intersection. Now, I am pausing the video when I'm doing my tiling because it's very, very slow. I think probably because I'm recording, I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably gonna take a minute anyway because it's doing a lot of work. Uh, but you may end up getting uh, up here in the left-hand corner, it may see, say not responding, but just let it work. Don't close out because it says not responding. Uh, it will eventually, um, work. See? So it just takes a minute sometimes. <clears throat> Again, go to page four, select both, and go to path intersection. And again, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> and then when it's done, you're going to end up with your four pages with your sections cut out so that you can place them together and end up with a, what did I have, a 19 by 17 image. Um, and I can only cut 12 inches wide. So the main thing here is to make sure that your square is cuttable in your machine. So like I said, if you have a 12 inch wide cutter, you can't make that rectangle, you know, if you have a um, 26 inch wide image, you can't make that rectangle 23 inches because your cutter is only um, 12 inches, okay? so. The main thing to take away here is that your square is not larger than or wider than what your cutter can cut. Okay, so now I can put this back and I have one, two, three, four tiles that I can place together to come up with my original image and it will be larger than what my cutter can cut all at once. So. I hope this makes sense. If not, watch it again. I'm sure it will. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching.